What is up, Walking Dead family? I'm Justin, and you're watching the Rantpocalypse YouTube channel, and we are here for Rantpocalypse Talks, The Walking Dead Season 7, AMC, Skybound, Robert Kirkman, all of those folks behind The Walking Dead. They just released some epic images from the Season 7 premiere, and I've got some stuff to talk about. They're gorgeous, gorgeous images as you are seeing right now as I am displaying them in front of your face. They are very, very cool. I like them a lot. They definitely are playing into who got Lucille'd. Everybody in these images are a part of Negan's lineup from the season six finale, which is very cool. And I like that AMC and everybody is still playing it very close to the vest. That is the biggest thing on everybody's mind, unfortunately. A lot of people are still very upset about the season six finale, so some of these images might piss off a few of the Walking Dead fans out there, but for me, I take them for what they are. They're just really cool fucking images. Now, I've got great images for thumbnails for any Walking Dead death predictions. It was a little bit hard to get some of those pictures from the actual season six finale as Negan's just going one by one by one with the bat. But the main point of this video is to not talk about these images. Yes, they're great. The main point of this video is what the fuck AMC, Skybound, Robert Kirkman, why are you trolling us like this? We all know that there was 11 people in that lineup and you give us 10 images? Oh my goodness, you bullshitting bastards. Yeah, that's right. They left Eugene out of these season seven premiere images. And at this point, I do not know if they're just fucking with us or maybe Josh McDermott wasn't available that day that they took these pictures. I would assume that these pictures they're probably not from actual filming because they're very professional looking. Who knows if that's even Negan holding the bat. You know, it's just an image of a bat in front of each one of the characters in the lineup, minus Eugene. So these are probably done professional photography strictly for San Diego Comic-Con because as everybody knows, this is the week of Walking Dead hype. We have been absent anything Walking Dead related Fear the Walking Dead is its own thing for quite some time now. Since the season six finale aired in May, all of us Walking Dead fans, we're just chomping at the bit, waiting for more season seven coverage, and they've been releasing a whole lot of stuff. So this whole Eugene thing, it made me want to do a video because at this point, like I said, I do not know if they're just trolling us or if they just simply forgot. I like to think that they're trolling us. And I give him props for that because I think it's kind of funny because I know a lot of people are going to be going on Reddit, they're going to be going on social media and just going bananas crazy over why Eugene was not put in these premiere photos. A lot of people, including myself, as well as my fellow podcaster Kelly, we thought at the end of the season six finale that Eugene was a very, very strong candidate to get Lucille, mainly because he gives Rick his bullet recipe. In the comic books, this is a very big deal that Eugene can create and make bullets. Because, as we know, in the zombie apocalypse, ammo is a scarce resource. And if you got ammo and you already got guns, you're the king shit on the block. And with Eugene being able to make ammo, that helps Rick and the gang be able to fight off people like Negan and the Saviors. So whenever he handed that recipe off, I immediately thought, oops, that spelt doom. Plus couple that with the fact that Eugene had his shining moment in this episode. For so long, Eugene was that character that everybody was like, ah oh, man, he's such a, a wussy. He never wants to go out there and kill the, the zombies or anything. And he'd started to step up in the back half of season six. And then in the season six finale, he's like, I got this guys, I'm gonna take the RV. I'm gonna go out there, I'm gonna trick Negan, I'm gonna trick these guys that are trying to kill us right now, which technically he didn't know it was Negan yet, but they knew it was the bad guys and that Negan was most likely behind it. So he did, he had that shining moment and he was thinking that he is gonna save the group 
be able to have Maggie get to the hilltop so that way she could get the doctors that she needed. And then he gets put in Negan's lineup. And also, he is a part of the Twin Peaks revival. If you never checked out Twin Peaks, it's a great sci-fi show. You should go check that out. And I don't know what capacity his role is going to be. I mean, if it's just a minor role, or if it's, it's a fully fleshed out character that's going to be in every episode of Twin Peaks, nobody really knows at this point. But we just know that Josh McDermott is a part of the Twin Peaks show. And... Not only that, but the Spoiling Dead, which I try to avoid, I try, try, try so hard to avoid, but right now, with all of the crazy stuff with who got Lucille, it's extremely difficult to avoid this. I'm actually doing a video on the whole two deaths theory that I just think is it's just so crazy to think that AMC and Robert Kirkman and Scott Gimple and all of the people involved would do two deaths to seemingly one-up the comic book, because that, that's kind of how I feel at this point. I'll, I'll flesh this out more in a video to come later. But yeah, I don't know if Josh McDermott, aka Eugene, not being a part of the season seven premiere photos is basically to throw people off the scent of that two deaths theory, or is it just maybe they put out the two deaths theory? Because it's very, very odd to me that Nerdist News would be the ones that would actually put that two deaths video out. They are affiliated with Chris Hardwick, who is affiliated with The Talking Dead, who not only just got a new contract, but he gets paid a whole lot of money to be a part of the Walking Dead family. Um, he's doing the San Diego Comic-Con panel later this week as well. So it's very odd to me that they would put that two death theory out there in the world, knowing that Robert Kirkman, Scott Gimple, Greg Nicotero, and AMC probably watches Nerdist News very, very closely and would be like, you motherfuckers, you just destroyed all of our mystery and intrigue and all the speculation behind who got Lucille in the season seven premiere because that's what they're banking on is lots of people are gonna watch this shit. So maybe by not putting Eugene in these photos, maybe that's to take people off the scent and put them on Eugene's scent and say, oh, maybe it's Eugene that got killed. He hasn't been filming. Uh, that's what the Spoiling Dead has basically said, is that he has not been filming or seen on the set since the filming of the season seven premiere. Don't know how accurate that is, but those dudes, they use lots of lots of crazy things to find out who's filming on the set drones and people hiding in the bushes and shit they are typically very accurate and on their shit i may not agree with it i, I don't like to be spoiled for stuff uh, but they usually are very accurate and i'm sorry if i spoiled anything for you with the two deaths theory um, but that's out there that's been out there in the world um, if you have missed it somehow good for you because you avoid the internet better than I do I apologize for this video being really rambly but it was just something I had to get off my chest it was just like I saw it and I, and I couldn't believe that they left Eugene out of these photos so I wanted to talk about it and you know maybe start a discussion about why they left Eugene out of these photos I want to know your thoughts on all of these season seven premiere photos in the comment box down below. What are you excited for with the San Diego Comic-Con trailer this week? We are gonna be doing reaction videos, analyzing videos, lots of fun stuff on this channel. So please hit the subscribe button for more Walking Dead content. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye bye